are ready for four two-minute rounds in a bantamweight contest. Your referee in charge of the action is David Irvin and your timekeeper, Alex McKenzie. And now, introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, officially weighing in at 59.85 kilos, making her 26th professional appearance inside the ring this evening from Lithuania. Please welcome Fida Masiukaite! And now, introducing her opponent, Bantamweight division, Kathy Mac Mac Allier, the only female boxer in the north of Ireland, 40 years old, getting it done, Jay, showing that there is still plenty of life in the fighter. Yeah, and she's uh, been out for two years and she's back here against a very well seasoned journey woman, you could say. You know, yeah, but been a veteran of 25 of fights. Of course. You know, like she, she's been in the ring with the likes of Chantelle Cameron, who's now the undisputed woman's mm. champion. Like, so she's. Uh, she hasn't got an easy one here coming back, but hopefully the, the home crowd will spur her on to get the victory here. She had a big shot there, and sometimes when you're out of the, the cage or the ring for, for a length of time, you almost need to take a shot to, to remind you that you're in a fight. Yeah, and a lovely lead, lead, uh, lead hook there from um, the away fighter, Vida. You know, she, she has that long range, and Kathy's very small. You know, she's going to really have to work to get inside, yeah, exactly. like she's doing there with a lovely... But this lead hook, I think, is... Phenomenal fall from uh, from Vida here. Oh, and she's oh. now following it up with a big, big right hand. Yeah, this vida has got some uh, some venom behind her punches here too. She's doing a good job of just maintaining distance and range. Pit Pat with the jab, setting it up nicely. And with Kathy being a, a veteran, a world champion in, in karate and kickboxing, maybe perhaps the, the range in boxing very different in the likes of the kicking sports where you have to take into consideration the kicks. 100% like I've, I'll not say never, but I've never been in an MMA or <laughs> kickboxing yet. Um, who knows in the future, <laughs> but <laughs> um, yes, I can, I can only imagine, you know, uh, even just having to, having to worry about someone mm. landing kicks on you as well. Like it's yeah. a, it takes a different sense of, uh, brain awareness as well yeah. you know than just looking for punches but Bite is landing some very good clean shots here and I think she's nicking this first round so far. You can see when, when Kathy's coming over the top she's just a little bit shy each time perhaps maybe a little bit guilty of loading up on the punches a little bit which is go good and it's like throw Vida off her game plan. Is, is that going to be a case of then for Kathy to try and back Vida up where she can't keep moving back where she doesn't have the space to 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 get that jab off? 100% uh, Kathy needs to be on Vida's chest, not letting her breathe, throwing punches, head, body, wherever she can land punches, she needs to be on top of uh, on top of Vida for the rest of the time. Yeah, well. taking a page out of the book of Cahill Crowley, who we saw execute exactly, that to perfection. Yes. She cannot stand on ceremony here. She needs to implement a little bit of forward pressure. There it is again, you know, she's falling short. She's, yep. she's finding it hard to, to find her distance. Yeah, and just trying to negate that range of Vida. She's doing a great job of just landing that one, two and getting out of the pocket. Oh, lovely backhand there by Vida. You know, this this girl's record definitely doesn't show her uh, her ability. This is a little bit better here from... from she, it's from that lead hook again that exactly. you call for. And it's, she's throwing it almost as a fade away hook, but it's still causing damage. There doesn't seem to be a lot of uh, a lot of power in that hook, mm -hmm. but it's landing clean, and the backhand that she's throwing after it is the one that's probably doing the more damage. Yep. There again. Oh, oh, over the top. A little bit of a speed wobble there. 
know, Cathy's got to be careful here. She's leaving herself open when she's throwing and she's leaving her chin exposed mm. to these big hooks and these backhands coming from Vida. You can see it's that, that jab to hook to straight from Vida. And it's the speed and proficiency with which she's throwing them has really given Cathy McAleer problems. Like, Vida has three punches. You know, it's the jab, it's the lead hook, and it's the backhand. Yep. There's nothing else that she's doing. She's very one-dimensional, but what she's doing is bang on. It's fundamentals, and fundamentals win fights. Exactly. That's great output as well from Vida. Yeah, you know, she's keeping her, look at this, like, she's keeping her distance very, very well, catching Kathy as she's trying to come in. Again, potentially, if, you know, we're not judging the, the fights tonight. We're here in our capacity as commentary and analyst, but conceivably, could you make the argument then that, that Vida is up two rounds? She's going to need a knockdown or a stoppage. Mm. You know, if she wins these next two rounds, it can't possibly be a draw, but for Cathy to win this fight now, she's going to need a knockdown or a stoppage. In my eyes, but as he says, we're not judging <laughs> tonight, so don't be going off of us. <laughs> Tentative start here. You can, see, you can see what Kathy's trying to do. She's trying to jab away inside, but again, just that half a step makes all the difference for Vida here. It's, it's Vida's height, it's Vida's range, it's her, it's her boxing IQ. You know, she mm. has a very good boxing IQ where she's keeping that distance very nice. She's moving back and she's punching on the way back. Yeah, but you know, th this is a very good performance from Vida here. And just as I say that Kathy needed to put the pressure on that beautiful cut in the angle from Vitus pivoting on the lead foot just to create enough space to get out for herself. As you say, very, very smart. And again, over the top, you know, she's when Kathy's coming in, she's dropping the head down a little bit and Vitus coming in over the top with the very, very, very good here. I'm very impressed by this Vita. You know, her record definitely doesn't Deceptive, suggest. Yep. Yes, without a doubt. There's potential there for a big rear uppercut from Vita. If Kathy's coming in with that head down. A lead or a backhand mm, uppercut. Yep even just pop the chin up with the lead and then follow up with the straight right. Exactly, and we all know that you love those uppercuts, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> even still light and bouncy on that, and again, just a fundamental, I don't think she's thrown anything other than the jab, uh, the lead punches. hook, and the straight. Yes. Because she hasn't needed to throw anything else. Finishing on the hook this time. See, and she's possibly making Kathy a little bit gun shy, but just by fainting that hook. Oh, these are big shots. These are big shots now from Vida. So there, she's starting to really find her range and her distance. And uh, yeah, she's starting to hurt Kathy a bit yeah. here, I think. She even, even just light on the feet, and she's going to circle off now. Like fundamentally, it is fantastic boxing, but. Kathy's still I a dog in this fight. I would love to know Vida's amateur background. Mm. Um, I think that she, I think that she might have had an extensive amateur career already with her distance. Yep. And let's not forget, like Vida has been in with one of the best women's boxers out there, and Chantelle Cameron. It's invaluable experience. Yep. Like you know, Kathy's going to need a stoppage here in my eyes for for a victory. But in doing so, it's the, it's the risk versus reward, she's isn't it, She's coming for it, anyway. Yeah. It looks like she's coming for the win. She knows she needs this round. Oh, big hook over the top. She's trying to roll into those big hooks. She needs to, oh, good body shot. Good body shots here by uh, Kathy. You know, she's landed one or two good body shots. You see, almost Tyson-esque, trying to roll underneath yes. and come over the top. But Vida again, doing a great job with the distance. Just pop, pop the jab. Works very well off the back foot too. Very well, like you know her move. Like there, that was a beautiful check, le uh, yep. check lead hook on the way back. You know she is definitely, um, uh, she's definitely got a lot of skills in her armor. Jane just fundamentally so sound. And just and her awareness of the ring, the space that she can occupy, the space that she can utilize, is very, very intelligent. Like. Oh, big backhand there by, uh, big backhand by Vida. I think that hurt Kathy a little bit. And just going back to what you were saying, Phil, you know, any time she's getting close to the rope, she knows where she yeah. is in the ring and she just turns off it. You know, she never has her back on the rope. She's got a lovely turn and she's turning with punches. Yep. She's turning with these hooks as well. It's constant offense. Even when she's moving backwards, she's moving backward offensively, throwing that hook. Yeah. 
But oh. to Cathy's credit, she has landed some big hooks trying to come over the top. She's this trying to work the body head. Definitely been Cathy's best round. You know, she's she's really up to her work rate here, but it might be a little bit too late. She got stunned a little bit there. And again, even just the slip, that minute little slip to the side from Vida. Ten seconds in the fourth and final round. Kathy trying to pour it on. There you have it. Four rounds in the books. For the first time tonight, we go the distance. And a surprising yet masterful performance from Vida Masukaiti. Ladies and gentlemen, please show your appreciation for both boxers. They put on a great, great show for us. After four great rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge David Irving.